Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to download and install a pre-configured Windows 11 virtual machine into VMware Workstation. So if you try to install VMware Workstation on your own, you might have noticed you have problems with, you know, needing to uh, add a TPM and encrypting the uh, VM and that kind of thing to get it to work. So if you want to avoid the problems and just have a pre-configured Windows 11 virtual machine up and running, you could try this method out. So this will install a Windows 11 um, Enterprise Edition VM, and it says it's going to expire on July 10th, but I'm not sure if that's going to matter. You might just have the same thing where you have your, you know, Windows is not activated message in the corner, and you can still keep using it. So you'll have to see for yourself what happens. Um, and if you're watching this past July 10th, then I guess you'll find that out as well, if it works at all. <laughs> so anyway, so I'll put a link in the description to this site here. And then once you get there, you just pick your platform. You, know, you could also do Hyper-V, VirtualBox, Parallels. Then you download this 20 gig file, which I have here. It's a zip file. And then once you extract it, you'll have these files here. So you have a VMDK file, an OVF, and this MF file here, configuration file, I think. So what you need to do is go into your VMware workstation. And you're not going to do new virtual machine. You're going to do open. And then you're going to browse to this uh, OVF file here. It's only going to show the OVF file. Double click that, give it a name. Let's call this 11 Enterprise. And then, of course, you know, pick your location where you want it to be uh, placed. Click on Import. So, this process might take a good 10 15 minutes. So, we'll pause the video and be back when it's done. Okay, so we got the VM imported here. So, we'll go ahead and fire it up and see what happens. So it comes with a user account called user that it will automatically log you in with. Okay, so we got the uh, Enterprise Edition evaluation right here. License valid for 20 days. It says it will expire soon, so you could just click on close. So like I said, I'm not sure if this is going to work like you know Windows Home and Pro where you could just have your expired um, version of Windows and it will keep running with the message there. So you have to see for yourself what happens. So this comes with some developer stuff like Visual Studio and some other tools like that. So it's meant to kind of, you know, play around with. But it's something good you could use if you're just getting used to Windows 11 and just want to see how it works and play with it yourself. All right, so like I said, just uh, download the uh, zip file, extract it. I'm going to go back out of here. And then just go to File, Open, find your OVF file, you know, go through the prompts, and then fire it up, and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.